this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations and I'm here to show you how to make card one of our Lift Me Up bundle um, virtual card class. Um, this one's done with the Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper. Um, I'll give you the measurements um, if you need them. Um, if you signed up for my virtual class and I sent you this little packet of scraps um, and cardstock, glimmer paper, everything you need to do this card. Um, I'm giving you a basic gray, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is going to be your card base. Then next, we're going to layer that with a blushing bride piece of cardstock that is 5.25 by four. Um, that's for your glimmer paper. On top of that, we're going to have a 5 inch by 3.75 inch smoky slate. Um, for our balloon, we're going to have a 4 by 3 basic gray and then roughly a 4 by 3 um, glimmer paper. Again, this is okay that it's tapered because we're going to do the hot air balloon and it's shaped that way. Um, and then for the sentiment, we're going to have a basic gray that is two and a quarter by one and a quarter, and then a whisper white two by one. So once you have all of your materials together, you're going to want to grab your bundle. Um, you should have ordered from me the um, Lift Me Up bundle stamps with the stamp set and the Up and Away Thinlit dies. For this card, we are using the large balloon um, with the detail, and then I've pulled out the small balloon um, stamp and the You Soar Above the Rest Congratulations stamp. I already have them mounted here on my acrylic blocks. Um, I'm going to take our smoky slate layer and I'm going to run it through the big shot with the textured embossing folder. I've already done that, so I have that layer here. Um, of course, our card base, our glimmer paper, and then I'm going to run through the big shot, this piece here. So you'll run that through, um, push it out with the die brush, um, I used the precision base plate because it is so detailed and the dye brush to remove all the little pieces so that I got um, my die cut all nice and clean. And then I've got the glimmer paper that's going to be mounted behind it. So again, see I, it's okay that it's tapered. And then I've got our little pieces um, for the sentiment and then our inside. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the balloon. Okay, because we're gluing on to glimmer paper, I'm going to go ahead and use our glue dots. Um, I have a roll of it here. I kind of tie a little piece of baker's twine around it just so the whole thing doesn't unravel. And then we just pull back until we reveal the glue dots. And then you're going to find your biggest spots behind the die cut so that you can hide your glue dots behind there. So I'm just going to search around and find some bigger spots. The glue dots work great for adhering to the glimmer paper because there's a little more depth to them. They're kind of, I don't know, thick I guess is the word I want to say, um, which allows us to grab into the glitter. Um, so I'm just going to press those down until we're good and stuck. And then I'm going to just trim around this with my paper snips. Now keep in mind we could go a little bit smaller than the die cut because um, there is that ring around the outside that we can use for an allowance. Um, so I'm just cutting a little bit under instead of a little bit over so that we are sure to um, hide all of our excess of the glimmer paper and again I'm trying to be quick because we're on camera here but you get the idea that we're going to make sure that it shows between the holes but not hang over the outside edge. 
Um, so then we're going to have our die cut balloon um, with the glimmer paper all ready to go. So then we can bring in our card base and our layers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this one, our base layer with snail. So we adhere the Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper to the card base. And then we're going to adhere the embossed layer. And I'm going to do that one with Stampin' Dimensionals. Again, they're, they're thick, and so they're going to have a little more give that's going to allow you to suck into the um, glimmer paper and make sure you have a good stick. So we're just going to peel off the little covers. Kind of center that layer. We have that. And then we have our sentiment. So we have our little tiny pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp in basic black. And again, this is where the clear blocks are wonderful because you can see through them and know where you're stamping um, so that we get a good centered impression. And then I'll just layer this one together. Um, again, I'm kind of being stingy because I'm trying to be quick. Um, but we're going to adhere this together and then adhere this to the card. Now you may be wondering why I'm not popping these up on dimensionals, and it's because I intend to send these through the mail. And if you're going to send them through the mail, it's um, probably advisable to only use one layer of Stampin' Dimensionals so that you don't go over the thickness um, that the post office requires that then you would have to pay extra postage. Um, just a little tip there. I don't like paying extra postage. They charge me enough. Thank you very much. Um, and then we have our interior layer. And for the interior, I was going to write a personalized note, um, but I'm just going to put a little decorative something in the corner. So I'm going to use Blushing Bride ink, since I had Blushing Bride glimmer paper. And then I'm just going to stamp some balloons, again, just so that it matches the exterior of our card. And then we can adhere this to the inside. And there you have it. There's your finished card. Wasn't that quick and easy? Thanks for joining me.